special message that I think it's really necessary to give to you all. For those who know me, I'm a psychic. Um, thank you, Master. And um, I also did some course of Chinese medicine and uh, a lot of practices in uh, the spiritual uh, realm. So, I wanted to really bring the, the knowledge of quantum physics in a really, really basic way, but in a way that you all can understand and put it in your, and bring it to your reality. Quantum physics uh, has, a, has this um, discovery that uh, cells, uh, the cells that we have in our body, the cells that we, uh, are present in the animals and the uh, things, chairs, uh, walls, bottles, everything, they are not uh, material. So the, the nucleus of the cell is not material. What does it, that means that it's, everything that we see is energy. Everything that we touch is energy. Okay. So, being energy, how can we perceive every single thing that is material as uh, something that we can grab and that it doesn't dissipate through our hands or in our bodies are made of energy. It's because we, in uh, quantum physics, um, they discovered that that's our thoughts, the way we think, and what we believe that manifests into our reality. So, if we didn't believe that uh, a chair or a table material that we can touch you can grab and you can stick and you can put things um, there that will be cold on um, that we can uh, take with us that has weight you know if you didn't have this programming in your mind for us it wouldn't be real so it wouldn't exist and uh, I know this really sounds weird for many of many people because this um, knowledge is not being shared by many. So I wanted to share because while I started my spiritual awakening, after I did um, the mastery of Reiki, I got into uh, a person that shared with me this knowledge. And we have a lot of, lot of uh, limiting beliefs that make us um, think that uh, that is, is impossible. That is impossible to manifest whatever we want. Well, it is. But first you need to really cleanse the old system and the system, the, the actual matrix that is happening in, in our world made you believe that you are, you are capable of creating with your thoughts and beliefs. So I really wanted to bring this message to you all so you can really understand how does it work. Well. You know, for sure, or if you believe the law of attraction, it's basically that. But when you hear the law of attraction, you only say, you only think that, oh, okay, you can create with your thoughts and your emotions align. Uh, you ask the universe to believe in it come and then it will manifest. Okay, but if you don't understand, uh, that everything is energy, and that's why your thoughts are the, the commander of the, 
manipulation of the energy manipulation, then you don't know why this, this is uh, possible. So you will be okay. Are you saying to me that thoughts are uh, uh, the commanders of a manipulation? Yes. The way you think, the way you speak, the way you speak into existence, with the way you see. Imagination is a powerful tool if you use it in your favor. If you do visualize what you truly want to live. Okay, that's why the right of attraction is really powerful and uh, it is effective. Okay, but first you need to really understand that your subconscious mind has a big, huge part of responsibility in your manifestation. And why? Because you, through the experiences of your own life, you do, um, you do storage a lot of limiting beliefs about yourself, about others, about life, about manifesting. Uh, and the thoughts that are uh, enabling you to really create easily. Okay? So that's why manifestation for your own sake and for our own sake you know, take much time to manifest because the universe is really, really smart. Okay? And the universe knows that uh, it can only deliver what you are being asked for when you are ready to receive it, okay? Because, for example, you do ask for a big mansion, you do ask for a millionaire account, you know? You do ask for your dream car, whatever. But, you have a lot of limiting beliefs inside of you that uh, say again and again and again the opposite one. Like that you are worthy of having that much money, that money is dirty, that money is for people who are bad, who are evil, that money is... Um, is covered with blood. That money is for feelings. That money is uh, the evil of the world. Stuff like that. And I, I believe me, I saw a lot of that in the same beliefs in others and also in myself. Like money is dirty. Money is used for evil and stuff like that. And I had to put in all this, that, uh, in the same beliefs, you know? And also, you can have a sense of lack, you know, that. Uh, Money will come, but it will disappear fast. Because if you if you do live in a poverty in a poverty mindset for a long, long time, and that's what you heard from your parents, your grandparents, the, your friends, that uh, they can keep money because money always uh, flies, and it's like, oh my God, I just. I got some money, but they come this bill and this bill and this bill and then uh, and all this bill, you know? When you do say, I have more than enough money, I do have more than enough money, and you do put in all this um, patterns and subconscious patterns that don't match the mindset of um, abundance. You will do manifest easily, okay? When you do cleaning and release all this that stuff, you will manifest easily. But especially the the thoughts about unworthiness. When you do feel that you are unworthy because you feel guilty for something that you did, you feel unworthy because your family always said that you are meant to be poor, you are meant to be uh, stuck in that situation, you are meant to be stagnant. And, and 
on this um, lack, land, ma uh, lack uh, of abundance um, position. And we will be like repeating all this time. So it is, a, it's, it is a really good matter of self discipline by reprogram your own mind, so your consciousness, but also to release the bad energy of suppression. I can tell you that I did a lot of work and I'm still doing it, okay, to really discuss it to myself. Uh, one of the things I realized is that I had a lot of patterns of scarcity coming from previous lifetimes. Um, if you do need help with that, you can make, you can put the link beside this video. And uh, you can have a reading for the past lives. Past lives, I can really clear all the, the beliefs that you brought from other previous lives. If you do want to know what is blocking me now, you can also make an appointment to me and believe that it's a session uh, of a session, just a waiting to know, to see we can do uh, healing and I can give you some tools to really, so you can really go deep and understand what is blocking me right now. And uh, I mean, blocking me internally and externally also. So, I wanted to really tell you that you are a powerful being. You are infinitely you can heal anything as long as you believe. There is a music that was created, that was sent by Mariah Carey and song says everything you will when you believe so. Do believe it is possible. Do believe in the impossible and you will get it. Okay? Thank you very much for watching.